Ghostbusters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman on this Friday, uh, September the 8th. Uh, yep, the 8th. And we're looking at the Dow. This is going to be very interesting because the buying pressure that just suddenly came in, just almost like a relief, um, is holding up as a second phase into this 1020, perhaps 1020 uh, period coming up for the market session. Uh, let's see, we've got we've got the Dow 56 at 34,556. <clears throat> that pink nine period moving average is still negative. Stochastic is weak at 49%. MACD did uh, deflect lower to pink. Uh, so far, that suggests that uh, there isn't any impetus yet for a big move to the upside. Look at the S&P. That's a little bit better because the chart earlier on. Uh, broke out of the Chapman Wave falling axis. This is a technical Friday. So before I have some tea here. Yeah. What we're looking at is the nine period moving average is very close to turning down, but it hasn't yet. And that says there's residual strength. Now, because this is a Friday, now I can start looking at weekly charts. So the weekly chart, since the high of 4507.07 .07 back on the uh, 27th of July in the S&P, saw the price fall under the 14-period moving average, actually close below it, then bounce for the last three weeks above it. That nine-period moving average, I need to show this because it's technical Friday. Uh, this is the, uh, what did I, this is a matter, I was showing all the different charts yesterday. So let's just look at this. Here's the Dow. INDU, and this is a daily chart. You can see, <coughs> excuse me, the nine period moving average under the 14. Now let's just go to the weekly chart. I have to always move this away. Uh, anyway, it's green. Green is still, uh, the nine period is over the 14. I really wanted, wanted to show you is the S&P. Look, the S&P has made a lower high, hasn't yet made a lower low, but that nine period moving average is steadfastly strong. I can't even give you a sell signal. Remember, sell mode in the daily charts of all the indices, including the SMH and semiconductors. But wait a minute. Look at this. Still green. It means either the, the price of the S&P has plunged to about right here, somewhere around here. No, it's the 4310 area. That's 150 points for this to turn pink. So uh, at this particular point, I'm still seeing residual strength in the weekly chart. Look at the QQQ, same thing. Even stronger, look, both the 9 and 14 period moving average haven't changed direction. They still, the trajectory is up and very wide. Look at the IWM, weekly. This is so close to turning down, but it hasn't, and you can't anticipate in this business. You have to wait. It's a, it's a weekly chart. You have to wait for this Friday, then the next Friday, because it's a weekly chart, to see whether or not the Russell t t uh, 2000 small caps go. But look at the SMHs. SMHs, with all the negativity that's going on. Now, let me just see. We, NVIDIA is right now. NVIDIA, look at this. NVIDIA is down uh, just over a dollar at 400 and uh, four. 51 is that a 61 is 61 and uh, look it's the green the price hasn't even gone touched the green nine period moving average and the tra trajectory is still up so within that context just let me give you uh, my overview for my uh, what i have done for subscribers to my opening call news that we are short the dow from the august 1st high not very aggressively short because I see a rotational correction here and those weekly charts are still so strong. <clears throat> I don't want to get in the way of them. But look at the look at the way the weekly chart of the SMHs held, uh, have it so far that SMH has held. Look at the XLK, that is the S P Select Spider Tech ETF or Spider. Still holding very well. 
and, and you can go on. So as I'm looking at this, look at gold. This is a weekly chart. Gold has had the price is deflected. It's still pink. It's still negative, even though gold is up $9 today. Look at the daily chart of gold. Let's do this right here. Technical Friday, remember? Uh, Technical Friday says um, it went S in the daily chart for a day or so. Um, and you can see that it's very close to seeing the price try to bounce up, but it's still pink. So, and look at the dollar, DXY. Dollar's pulling back a little bit today, down 16 ticks. Look how strong it is. <clears throat> this whole area right here, that's this area with a high of 104.30. Let's call it the 104s. That's kind of good support right now. When that gets taken out, you still have to see the dollar go all the way to 103.50 before you can see that green even start to close in on the black 14 period moving average. Technical Friday. I'm trying to show you that I like to go one step at a time. And so far, it is the daily charts that have given me sell signal to sell mode upgrades. But within that context, they're not really breaking down yet. I'll go to the daily chart. You can see it here where you see all three. Oh, monthly chart. We've got a very gentle two months pullback since the high that was made right there in July of three, ooh, getting harder to see, huh? This is because it's overlapping that I caught. 370, whoops, 387.90 or 98. That was the high just three months ago. And we haven't broken down, but we haven't broken out. And it hasn't had the strength just to just kind of pierce it by even one penny. So, and that's a peak D. Now what I need to do, because technical Friday, there's a pattern that I talk about all the time, um, for years and years and years. Let me just get back here. This is my opening call newsletter, and I, I'll just show you the patterns that I like to always use. Okay, coming up right now. So you see why, the way I'm joining these lines right here, a little declining trend line right there. And it's very hard to pinpoint. <laughs> right, very hard to pinpoint the exact in this with this pointer right here and there you are so i call this chapway falling axe formation you can get little mini ones and they become really powerful when it lasts a little bit longer the pattern that i'm talking about right here is this oops it's this click right here so it's called the chapman wave falling axe formation i i drew it in over here then what i like to do is to say okay it broke out you could keep it there, but that's a little bit messy. Why don't we raise that to say, hey, good action so far. This is a QQQ in the daily chart. Good good rally from the 387 high back in July to the 354-ish low that was made. Let me give you the exact number. Uh, 354.71 low on the 18th of August. And let me just 354.71. 354. 354.71. There we go. Um, so this is nice. It's acting quite well. Still a sell mode in the in the daily chart. Nothing yet in the weekly. So this chapter wave falling exclamation says every once in a while you get a pattern where you make lower highs and much lower lows. But then it stalls, makes a top formation, takes out that resistance you can go one to one to the upside. I'll be back in a moment. Thousand sixty minutes. So If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. DFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, I uh, just wanted to show you this. This is the 10-minute E-mini S&P. Nice cup formation here. It did a left side, right side to this particular candle right here. Time and price match. I'd said in the den earlier on that that 45.59 uh, level was the, uh, at peak D. We were over there, just making that. And I said that 44.59 is a magnet. And uh, we pulled back away from it. It's both a magnet, but the, but the technicals were still holding beautifully with a nine over the 14, and still strong right now as we look at the E-mini up 16. I drawn in just, I, I had to do this very quickly and then I just left it alone. I drawn in, in case there was a bad news report that this could have become an arch formation, that would have been the Chapman Wave inside wedge support line, didn't even get there. Now what it's done is done a one-to-one -one to the upside. This is almost like a, uh, the falling axe formation that I was just showing you where it took it out and went out to the upside one to one. Now it's kind of stalling here a little bit and you can see the Chapman Wave automotive, automated uh, resistance to support levels. Look at that beautiful 44.59 low that was, that held right there just before 10 o'clock. And then 44.70 was the first resistance. It just took it out, they went under it, came back and 44.73 to 44.74 is the next resistance level, but it, the weekly, the fire. I always talk about this as weekly and daily. This is a one minute chart, one minute chart with technical, the automated Chapman wave resistance support levels. Five minute chart, look at the five minute chart is being green since it, it broke to the upside at 8 to 10 this morning. It's still green and it's green right now, even though it's stalling. And the 10 minute chart, the same thing. So I'm just showing you that the I like to look at the time frames. So the daily says a little bit of a rectangle formation forming here, just a stalling formation. If it breaks out sharply into the 4475 area, that's going to be really good. But right now, it's just kind of stuck for the moment, having a little bit of a breather after two big moves up. Uh, the five minutes is saying, hey, wait a minute, what are you talking about? It's barely stalling. This is just the third bar. Uh, anything can happen in this third bar. I remember my rule of one, three, six. One bar, a break to the uh, one, a break to the upside that has just one bar rest and then moves on is really positive. If it becomes three bars, or, uh, that's also very good. But when it gets to about five or six bars, you actually have to restart 
to get that move up, and there it is breaking out. So I can call this a G slash C, but in fact, my eye says, ha, huh, all the technicals are, are strong, so why not call it a C? Because I like to show that um, there are times where you're really just continuing the previous rally. So just to be safe, and you say, hey, you could stall here, but this is such a nice relief day because if today was very negative, Oh, Monday could have been very ugly. Oh, the day's young. Anything can happen. But I, I think this is this is just telling us that that daily sell mode that we were talking about is influenced by the larger tide. Remember, I showed you that when we look at tides the other day, I discussed this whole thing on tides. That you've got to be aware that the larger tide. If you throw a, a stick in the, uh, um, say, a branch into the water, or a stick or something. If the tide is going out, no matter what you do, that, that branch is not coming back to the shore. It's just going to keep being pushed out. If the tide is coming in, no matter what you do, it's just not going to go out. It's going to constantly be. That's the tide that you got. You can have rip tides. You can have little tides. You can have low tides. Or whatever it is, the tide tells you the larger trend. Within that, you can get little nuances. So in this particular instance, so far, the 10 minutes, which let's call it daily, weekly, monthly. This is the longer term trend. And so far it's up and the daily trend is making pop rest, pop rest. Another little pop less than before. So now we have to see what happens next. So within that context, um, a couple of things that I want to look at. Did I finish what I was doing? Now, let me just do this. I believe I didn't finish, so I'm going to do that right now because we were looking at the 914s. So the QQQ is up 255 up 6.69%. The S&P is up 0.43%. The Dow is up 0.24%. I love the way the rotations are going. Now, let's go backwards here. So a question came in. We had Garo from, from California calling the other day about square, a block. Square is, I like to call it square, but block, they changed the name to block. And um, we were looking at it, and I said, you know, Garo, uh, I know that you use the parabolic SAR, but I like to look at chart formations. And this particular chart, you remember looking at chart formations, well, look at this. This particular chart here says that you can go, yeah, three basic uh, rules as far as I'm concerned. Straight line up, straight line down, cup formation where it goes from one level down, then back again. It could be a V, but it's basically going from one level down and then back. How does it retest that upper level when it comes back? Or the arch formation or inverted V where it goes from one le level up and then down. When it comes straight down, rallies the price and it goes to just a peak A or a B, Watch out, because if it takes out this left side low, that could be a very deep uh, decline. But this, if it holds the left side low, it can have another arch formation. Then it's like a rectangle within it. The ball is just bouncing from the upper level to the lower level. And every time you think it's going to break out to the upside, it just reverses and comes down. Every time you think it's going to break to the downside. But in the H to lowercase m formation, on that second round, when it comes down, if it takes out that left side low, it can go deeply lower. That's the lowercase h to lowercase m. Lowercase h to lowercase m. So we were looking at this and saying, well, uh, it doesn't, it looks like it's going to fail. It's stuck in the rectangle formation. And he called yesterday, said, oh, great. He got out of it. He was short. He was long, then he went short. <clears throat> and he took his profits. I don't know if all the profits, but look what happened today. It's down. It hit 53.03. And remember, if the 52s is the level, I said it better hold the 52s because any time it plunges, that will give you almost a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside based on this particular methodology. So it's down two right now at 54.02. So that's the pattern. I was going to talk about it in another stock. I even wrote it down here. <clears throat> I think this is the one, AN. This is, yeah, this is AN is the alternation order sales. Peak F. Uh, so far, I'm calling you an F in the monthly chart. Peak D, look, there's a little arch formation or dreaded H formation in the weekly chart. And now you've got your same thing. Lowercase h goes to a lowercase m, and it can repeat. When it takes out, usually when it lasts this long, it has to find support because if it doesn't find support, it's used up all its upside energy when it takes out, in this particular case, 149 and 19 cents the low of the 24th of July, be careful because this could go even deeper down. 
So it's stuck in the range. So that was the lowercase h that continually makes, an, look, there's an h. This could even be another one and another one and another one. Now it's made lower lows than all the lows except for the key one, which is at 149 level. Um, Got to watch this very closely. Next question I had was, yeah, so um, uh, Jacob earlier on when he was doing Tommy's show, uh, he had really, he just he discusses so many things in, in really good good detail. I really like it. Um, doing a lot of good fund fundamental work in terms of just giving you perspective perspectives on different things. But he did talk about credit cards. I wanted to show you something here. Look at this. This is V Visa. Fabulous, almost at all time highs. This is Mastercard. Fabulous, almost at at all-time highs. This is American Express. Almost at lower lows and lower lows and lower lows. I'll be right back. That was at 99. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. We're back. We're back in the Dallas up 115. S&P's up 22. A nice relief rally. We've got, oh, we've got a caller. We've got Garo in California. Garo, how are you? I'm very good, sir. I'm a happy camper. I thank you. I thank you very much for yesterday's heads up. And uh, today I shorted it again uh, on a 30 on 30 minute pre market uh, uh, the chart at uh, 55.20. I shorted the 600 shares and I got out at uh, S3, which was uh, 53.30. I covered it and the, and the same on the same candle. Yeah. 
Um, uh, uh, here, um, my question is that, sir, um, uh, you think this will go to 52 or uh, uh, this is the end of it? No, I think uh, this is, if anything, uh, square. And it's very interesting. I, I know someone whose daughter-in-law um, uh, works for Square in Europe. And um, from what I understood, she's a little mystified at the way Square is acting because I guess she's involved in sales, etc. So all I can say is that from the chart pattern I'm looking at here, these intense failures are telling me, so we're talking about folks talking about Block Inc., this is formerly Square Inc., point of sale software, managing receipts, but they're also now involved in, in, in blockchain so there's, there's this kind of uh, Coinbase situation that, that is involved. But I have to tell you that the way it's acting is it's just not very promising. It looks to me like it went sideways in this rectangle formation. I have a technique that I call the propeller shaft and it says from the – if it goes sideways, you can look at the left side to see how high, or if, if it's on the way down, how high the previous peak was to the base that forms, and then go to the top of the rectangle and draw a line down. Now, that's kind of aggressive, but I, I have to tell you, I, there are so many times that this particular pattern works. We just saw that on the upside uh, in the E-mini, so the chart doesn't care what it is. And let me just draw it for you right now. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll make this blue, and then I'm going to make this. And it has to be a kind of a parallel. It must be in the same angle, the same number of bars. And uh, and actually, while I'm doing this, folks, for those of you you trading the E-mini, I was about to do this, but I wanted to take Gar Garo's call. I'm just going to flip over right now to the E-mini. Look at the Chapman Wave automated resistance levels. Look at that cluster up there. I always respect that. Maybe one, it could break through, but a cluster, it makes it really tough. And what I said earlier on was that uh, we, we, you, if you follow the green line, it's positive. If you follow the pink line, it's negative. Now, let's go back to square because everything I'm talking about here is applicable. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And I'll put this in. I'm not sure this is – okay. What this says is that there's a move to 49 but it only works if there's a follow-through lousy candle on Monday, maybe a bounce on Tuesday or a little bounce on Monday. But by Tuesday, you've already hit today's low is 53.03. You've already hit like 52.40, kind of a deep pullback. And that says, that's what I'd be looking at. But I'm just saying this is a particular technique called the propeller shaft where you come down sharply. Then there's a, this rect, long rectangle. Instead of being an oval like a proper pro propeller shaft, this is like a rectangle. And then there's a move down. This has those characteristics. So I'm just saying to you, uh, it doesn't look good because in this time frame, there's the software, the stocks that are involved in software, which, which block is, um, the, for instance, you can go to a stock like Now. This is um, Now is called Service Now. So basically, that's also software, right? Now it's going towards its all-time highs. It's breaking to the. It's used this particular phase to move to the upside. It's 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 done it in a way that says, "Wow, I am quite strong." There are a number of stocks like this, whereas Square is saying, "I've used this time to go sideways. I couldn't even have a rally." So I'm just saying to you, from the way I'm looking at it, unless Square, there's some news and it has to be a sustained move, unless Square sometime by mid-September actually hits 60.33 to break your above. Whoops. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, that was my, my throat. To break above all the trading that was going on for the past um, three weeks, four weeks, <laughs> it's a problem. I hope that helps you, but I'm just doing a pure. Yes, and if you sir. look at the weekly chart, the weekly chart took out the left side low of um, April or May. Um, well, the yes, day's yes. not done, but the week looks like it's going to close below that. So it just does, and the monthly chart doesn't look good either. 
Yes, 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 yes. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Uh, Mr. Basil, is there, do you have time for one more? I can you give ask me, you or should I get out of the line? No, no, just give me your one more. What is it? Rig, R-I-G. Oh, R-I-G. Rig, yes. This is, yeah, uh, today I, I bought it uh, over the uh, 50-day moving average on the 30 minute. Uh, I bought 2,000 shares. Uh, do you think that that will go up to 860, 870, or, uh, or I'm dreaming? Uh, no, you're not. Well, you didn't say in what time. I'm going to say absolutely, but, if, but I'm not giving you a time. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah. you want, you yeah, want no, time on your side. So let's just do this. Let's go to the 120-minute chart. I think I used to, uh, I had this all notated the other day. Then I had to shut down suddenly, so I lost the notation. So this is a peak A, B, C, D, E. So you went to the peak E. The 200 period moving average is like a magnet. You just can't get away from that. Yeah, I'll tell you what I would look at. Because I'm calling it a magnet, it says that 822, uh, where it is right now, it keeps wanting to, to tag that number. If it pushes away, it has to push away, and it really needs to do it quickly, because the longer it takes, the greater this magnet of the 200 period moving averages in the 120 minute chart. But and you can see if you're using the uh, the um, SAR, uh, you're looking at this pink, so that it is still negative. I haven't seen one on the 120 minute chart yet. On the 10 minute, I'm sure I'm sure you've got it on the 10 minute chart, but not the 120. So what I would like to see is, and we're right in the cusp of crude oil and the dollar just about to have a bit of a breather. How that um, affects the market is going to be important, and rig will be important. The way I'm looking at rig, it's kind of in a sideways trading band. It's had a huge move up. The daily chart, the weekly chart is in a digester phase. Monthly chart is still looking really good. So I, I think you're pushing your luck to think that it's going to go to 860 right away, but I absolutely do see 834, and that 834... <laughs> Will needs to be done. I, I would just say to you that if at the, I don't know if you hold over the of the rest of the of the weekend, but if this hasn't gone to eight today's highs eight twenty six, if it can't get to eight twenty eight or eight thirty by three fifty this afternoon, ten minutes before the close, I'd say you know it might uh, over the weekend we might see oil come down a little bit and then this will probably pull back. That's a different story. Yes. Hope that helps yes, sir. you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank you for it. calling. Thank you. Thank you, folks. We have Dow's up 93. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks, we're back. I just wanted to show you this is a technical Friday. Uh, so, I like to do left side, right side, price, time match. That's the boss symmetry. And then I usually use the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance or target re, uh, repellent zone, uh, support or repellent zone. And we'll see if that works out here. But I'm just looking at this and I'm saying you've got a peak F top. You did that one to one, then you extended it even more. Um, so now we're looking at the E mini. Trying to give back a little bit of what we 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 are doing right here, so I would put an X in. This would be a target of mine right here, 44.66 or 44.65 area, uh, right there. And that would be at about. Let's see if that works. Right about 10.53. So we'll see. And you've got an E. There's no down arrow yet in the five-minute chart, and it's a leg F, probably a peak F in the. Uh, 10-minute chart, so we'll be watching this closely. So let's just go back here. Yeah, question came in about Nike, N-I-K-E, N-K-E, <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, this is the dreaded H. That's the pattern we were looking at before. And this one did something, I've seen this more and more lately. It's very unusual, but lately it's, I just, just you know, patterns repeat and I always say, the chart doesn't know whether it is a uh, uh, the rig or it is uh, MasterCard or whatever, or a, a wheat. The chart just does what charts do. And here's this dreaded H pattern, which says that Nike at 97.58, down 34 cents. This, the way the nine period moving average is so weak under the 14, the way the stochastic has rallied, it's at 28%, but it has this history of going back to the uh, teens. Uh, the way the MACD reversed and deflected lower, that is, there's a pretty good chance that over the next four or five sessions that the low of 96.55 of uh, the 20, 21st of August will be tested and maybe even broken. Uh, so we'll be watching that closely. Now, here's a couple of other things that I wanted to do. So I spoke about the cre credit cards. I said how fascinating it is. Look at American Express. They all do something different, but basically they're credit cards. But look at this. Uh, this is look at that sell off from the high, high 170s down to 157 right now. We're MasterCard. Look at that. It's about to break out of that Chapman Way falling axe formation that we looked at. It should go to a leg D above the high that was made in the 30th of uh, August of 417, 73, 78. Um, and that well, if it's next week, it goes to a D also in the daily and the weekly. Isn't that interesting? So uh, the other thing we're looking at here is, um, so what is it? Uh, Discover, I think a DS, DSF? No, DSC. <laughs> oh, wait, Discover, D, Discover, D, C, S. No, DSF, that's it, maybe DSF. Oh, man, I'm not getting it. So Discover, I put it down, I think it's DFS, surely. DFS. Discover Financial. Yep, there it is. Look at this. 
going to lower lows historically over the last year. Look, it keeps coming back to this 80, 89 area. It's at 89 right now, about to break down. Look at that weekly chart. So each thing's doing differently. And that's what I wanted to mention here. Look, you've got uh, NVIDIA, spectacular stock, huge pullback after all that fantastic, oh, man, they couldn't do anything wrong. Every, it's not a big deal. It went from 502 to today's 457. But it is pulling back. And all of a sudden, you've got an Intel. <laughs> Look at that. A nice-looking chart. It went to a leg D very quickly in the monthly chart, leg D in the weekly, and a leg C in the daily. So I'm just saying to you, choose very carefully. Stay with what you like. For instance, we got a position yesterday uh, in a stock we've been waiting for for ages. Finally, it pulled back, and it just started to show enough strength. We got it. And then all of a sudden, I hear people talking about it. I just didn't know it was going to be that popular over the last two days. Now I'm saying to myself, i uh, got to be a little careful there. Still doing very nicely after our entry point because we got it on the low yesterday, just about. <clears throat> but even there, I think I've got to be careful. So the long positions um, are with hesitancy. I haven't uh, added to the short positions yet. For subscribers, as I said, let me just go through this again. Look, the Dow is short from that very high, the exact high of 35,679, August the 1st. That's the day we went short, still short, uh, taking a little bit off, but mostly short. And we've got the SMHs still short um, from 159, just over 159. 161.17 was the all-time high. So within two points of the all-time high, use the SOXS, the three times uh, short to take some really nice profits. Then we got out. I should have run this up to the, to to that rally, that peak C rally, which failed pennies away from our first stop in the uh, uh, in this big bounce to the upside. We just kept it, said stay with it, and so far it's at 150.52. That weekly chart is still looking pretty damn good. But the magnes down, stochastics down, on balance volumes down. The nine period moving average, as I showed you before, it is not yet. It is turning down a little bit, but there's nothing in the weekly chart to say it changed from your buy mode to a sell signal. I haven't got that. I have got a sell mode in the daily. So everything you've got to do very judiciously. Look at the DXY. Here's the dollar pulling back uh, down 32 cents at 104.73. Look at the crude oil. <clears throat> Holding quite nicely up 73 at 87.60. High level consolidation. Will it be able to get to that left side high? I don't like putting prices in yet because they get changed because this is a continuous contract. But the 93.56, uh, 56 high of the week of the 11th of November of last year, I'm saying that that is probably a way we've got a chapter wave inside wedge target resistance line, that dash green line, it keeps bumping into that and then stalling. That's probably a target over the next coming weeks. But on a very short-term basis, we'll have to see what happens. Now, a couple of things that I had a question about. Um, I said, oh, so in the den, who said that? Uh, a, a to B to. Um, yes, I am so upset because if I had this, I was looking in the in the in the whole area of real estate, if you go to Home Depot, Home Depot is still holding pretty well. If you look at Toll Brothers, Toll Brothers uh, might be down a fraction today, but wow, it is holding really well. If you look at the HGX index, holding really well. It's had a pullback, but still, look at their weekly chart. If you look at the um, builders, BLDR, and this is a company that supplies uh, construction materials, and, you know, just all components that you need, builders first source. 156 was the all-time high back on the 2nd of August. And is that correct? Yeah, 2nd of August. And look what we're doing here. There's the dreaded H failure pattern. Did it more than a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. Here's the next bounce. Is this going to be the failure? But no, the one I forgot about, which I've always looked at for years, because I've always said, first of all, I didn't know what they did. Secondly, it just never went. So this is RH, 
formerly restoration hardware. Look at this dreaded H. Oh, I didn't even notice it today. Look at that. Down 41 points at 327. Unbelievable. That was the shirt. I think some of the others are going to follow in, in lockstep at some point. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Up. And, and you yeah. might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, just typing into the den to tell them that I'm an, I've just worked out, I'm able to do the next hour of the Steve show. Uh, it's not Steve's show, but Steve's hour. And look at this. You remember I drew this arch formation. I see this is a Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line. It held it, bounced off. And look, we almost, I put the X there. We came within a point and a half of that X in time and price. So these are techniques that I like to use. And now look at the bunch of support levels we've got here for the one-minute chart. And look, the five-minute chart, let's call this the daily and the weekly. This, this five-minute chart, which I'm going to call the weekly, like the others, Nothing. The nine period moving average hasn't even moved, hardly, hardly moved down. And the, the black 14 period moving average is still moving up. So that's the reason why I like to look at time frames. And time frames give you a sense of the tide. Look, the short term tide, rip tide, whoop, you suddenly come down. The medium term, that's five minutes in this case, nothing. The, 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 the tide is still rising, even though we've got a beautiful reversal right there the doji candle the next move up um 
you did pull back, but not very much. And then the week, the, the monthly, in this case, the 10 minute chart, nothing to see here, folks. It's still the tide is rising. Does it change what you need? Think of it in time frames. You need it's like a little speedboat, right? Speedboat can make turns, real quick turns, in and out and in and out. Um, but a super tanker, the monthly, takes a while before you can even notice that it's turning. Um, yeah. So with that said, I'm going to do the next hour. The Dow's up 110, S&P's up 17. Very important. Got a nice bounce here, but you're not really seeing it all the way around. And I'll talk about that because there's some things that I wanted to show you. I got a bunch of charts. This next hour, as Steve loves to do, I will take requests for charts. Just yell them, stream them, send them to basiltrap and the I'll pick them up. And in the chat, oh, this.